Hello friends, welcome back to UiPath Expo Hub. Today in this chapter we are going to learn regular expressions or commonly known as regex. So we are in the chapter 1 which is the introduction to regular expression. So let's see and understand the regular expression in detail. Let me introduce myself. Myself Rakesh from Expo Hub. In case you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. We regularly come up with lot many interesting videos. Please do like and do not forget to comment what you felt about this video. So let's get started. What is regular expression, right? Or commonly known as regex. So you have already seen uh, in most of the application, for example, when I do control F, right? So control F is part of one of the regex where when I write something, right? If I say, let's say text, if I highlight text, it can tell me where the text are written, right? So th this is again, the control F is one of the example for regular expression. So regular expression is very simple. It is a searching for a text pattern, okay? In a collection of text. So you have got an entire collection of text and you want to search for a text pattern. So for example, uh, if I ask you, please find out all the email address from a collection of text. So for example, I have written this entire text, right? The employer Rakesh whose email address is uh, so and so, right? And uh, his phone number in so and so, employer who should report to him and their email address are, so these are the employees who would be reporting. So now, how many email address are there? So this is one, then two, then three, then four, then five. Now if I ask you, can you identify only the email address from this entire collection of text and give me the output, right? For that, regular expression is used, okay? This is one of the simple example to understand regular expression. So let's see, let's have a live demo and understand how to utilize this, okay? Now the very first thing that you should know, I am back to my UI path. If you simply type string, there are three different activities. One is is match, matches and replace. So these are the three different activities which has the option to configure regular expressions. Okay. If you see this, these are the only three activities for the moment available in UI path using which we can configure the regular expressions. Clear? So this should be clear. Now let's get started. So the very first thing that I will do, let me use a read text activity to read the text file. Okay. So I'm going to read that particular text file, which I just shown. Let me point that out. So the test file is here. Okay, so this is the same text file which I have just shown you. Okay, this is the text file. So once I read it, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create the output. So here what I'm going to do, control plus K and you create output. So this is read notepad. So this is the variable I have created. So which will have all the details of the notepad. Okay, so this is the variable I have created. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use one of the activity using which I can build the regex or so for the moment, I will just start with matches. Okay, and I'm going to explain, I'm going to come up with small, small and other videos to explain all of this. But again, to start with, we will go with the matches activity. Okay, now in the matches, you have something called configure regular expression. So this is what we need to understand. So let me click on it. Okay. So now what is this? Let's understand this particular window in detail. Otherwise we will have always a confusion. What is regex? So this is actually very simple. Just that you need to continue with me for little more time. So let's say the moment you open it by default, there'll be something called literal ABC exactly you match. So all of this are written. Okay. So I have no understanding why they have written this. So let me explain you why they have written this. This is just a test. Okay. For example, when I type, let's say, let me type some text, test ABC. So when I type this, you see, because of this regular expression. So this is the expression they have ABC, right? Full expression is ABC. So when, 
when you type abc or any kind of letter where you have abc you know it will get highlighted do you see so let's say i am i want to find rakesh so if i type rakesh you will see rakesh is getting highlighted so what is happening here now if this is my sample text let's say i want to find rakesh if i simply uh, you know in the values if i simply type rakesh it is going to write the expression for me i mean that looks quite simple isn't it but again let's understand so the moment i save it what would happen the pattern if you see right if i highlight the pattern here they have written as rakesh so this is the code probably okay so let's understand little bit detail i mean this is very simple there is no code this is a simple text and there it's finding it right so let's understand so let's say if i ask you to find the uh, email address let's say so let's say i say this is sample text okay this is rakesh my email address is rakesh at the rate expohub.com let's say so now i'm not able to highlight the email address it's only highlighting rakesh so what i will do i will click on this drop down and they have already built something you know all the regular expressions are by default built by ui path which becomes lot easier right you don't have to write the code but i'm going to teach you the code in the upcoming chapters okay but again let's start with the basic understanding so when i select email what would happen do you see you know something alien has come right it's a huge number of you know alpha numerical things has been written so this is what exactly we have to learn regular expressions okay and this you know looks very complex for a beginner okay my god what is this you know what is the meaning of all of this so i will explain i will make it very very simple for you you will understand all of the code quite simple okay they are very simple all you have to do is continue to watch couple of my videos that i'm going to come up so now let's go very simple so what i'm going to do when i select this code where i do not have understanding at this moment for example right so we'll simply go and select the email code right the moment i select what is happening it is going to highlight and it is going to give that as a output so when i click on save so what is happen in the pattern if you go you will see the entire code has been written here right so the entire code has been written so if you if you know how to build this code you can type it yourself in case you do not want to learn regular expression you just want to utilize what is available you can pretty well utilize this and i would say i would recommend you to utilize this because they are more tested rather than you learning and writing which i am going to teach you but again this becomes more handy because they are already experimented so there is no fault in that right so this is this are this all are well experimented is that clear so this is what the expression we get by using the regular expression built by ui path i don't have to write anything let's say i want to find find a email address let's say i will say www.google.com is the email is the url right is the url so um, and let's say i will type another email address so what is happening right now the code is selected for the email address so email address is getting highlighted clear now i want to identify the urls from a collection of text so if url is there then if i select url what is happening the url is getting highlighted let's say i want to say www dot uh, a b c d uh, right dot com if i type again you can see how many number of urls are that they are getting highlighted right so let me type another let's say rohit at the rate expohub.com now you see the email address is not getting highlighted but the moment i go ahead and select email you will see everything is getting highlighted so that makes my life easy isn't it so i can just utilize this code and get what i want so right now what is my what is my uh, main thing i want to get the email address so i will select the email address click save that's all okay but don't worry all you have to do now is just understand this try it out on your ui path and then in the upcoming chapters i am going to explain all of this in detail so you can write your own code okay so now we will go very simple now the output so once it identifies all the uh, all the email address so one thing is you have to provide the input right so you are reading the text and storing the output in the read notepad variable okay so that will become your input so what you do here simply type 
read notepad clear so this becomes the input now the output the output i want to store let's say control plus k and uh, the output is email address right so i'll create a variable called email address and click ok so once you do this you have to come to variable here email address if you see it is saying i i e numerable so what is the meaning of i numerable do you know what is the meaning of i e numerable okay this is nothing but non generic collections of data that means you have you know about array right so array can be a collection of string right or it can be collection of your integers like that so no, why i am saying non generic because your collection of text can have anything today now right now you are searching for email address after some time you might search for uh, let's say phone number after some time you might search for the email, uh, the address right where he stays so these are again non generic you know every time it will change so any kind of data it should be able to collect so so it can collect any kind of data so non generic collection of data is it clear okay so that is why the variable type is i numerable and we can iterate so it's a kind of a array which is a collection of data and i can use a for each loop and iterate through the entire set of data let's say it, it is finding uh five email address or four email address so i can go through each one by one and utilize it wherever i want okay so we will see that example so let's get back so what i'm so i understood the output is stored in email address i enumerable type of variable okay so once that is done all you do use a for each loop okay so for each loop simple not the for each row you have to use the for each loop okay and here i am going to mention the email address that is my i enumerable is object which will contain all the non generic collection of data okay so now what is my expression i have mentioned this expression is all about the email address okay it is going to identify all the email email address and show it to you so what i am going to do i am going to use a log message okay and this is a info and uh, Uh, you know once it identifies the data will be stored in item and the everything i am going to log it using the item okay done so let me run it so now you see the output is completely blank so let me save it and run it okay so you saw it has pulled all the email address rakesh rohit amit deepak ankita right exactly all of the data has been pulled so rakesh is here rakesh.expo.com rohit amit this four are here so all of the data has been very well fetched and written in the log so you can use a message box you can um, you know use that item and write it in an excel file whatever you want to do so this is what the basic demo of a regular expression so one thing is very critical now okay we understood how to utilize the configure regular expression but what are those quotes what is the meaning of uh, backward slash d right which stands for number of digits uh, so what are the, all this example i am going to come up with my next video please do watch and uh, thank you please do subscribe to the channel in case you have not subscribed please do like all the videos that you are watching in expo hub please do like them and do comment what you felt about them thank you so much you have a wonderful day